Hello, hello. 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 Whiskey Cactus here. Welcoming you back to Tales of Berseria. This is uh, this is our third stream for Tales of Berseria. And let's uh, let's jump in. We are we are what is this? Oh, this is the quick save I did. Huh. That's that's interesting. All right. Anyway, we have this one here. The West Laban Tunnel. Um, we are trying to get around Fort Vertigern. Vortig Vert Fort Vortigern, <laughs> which is a very, very uh, tightly guarded fort, as we are told. And we have enlisted the help of some pirate friends, as well as a new party member by the name of Aizen, who uh, I need to set up strategy for, actually. Um, I guess, you know what, whatever. <laughs> I guess he's fine. <laughs> he's probably fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's all fine. Everybody's fine. We'll just go with the defaults. Alright, so we did explore a little bit in here. Um, we got to the point of actually getting Aizen in the party. That is where we are at. Where is my... This button. That's the button. Alright. So the map is very simple. We have not gone very far in this place yet. So we need to push our way through. And we're probably going to respawn a bunch of enemies that we killed last time. Yeah, we sure are. We did fight all these guys last time, so I'm not in a hurry to refight them. We will fight enemies as we continue onward. But uh, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. So let's see. We've got another open area. This is where enemies tend to pop on up, and we will go ahead and fight these guys. Hello there. Hello there, little, little blob dudes. What are, you, what are you guys? You are seeds. Because that's what I imagine seeds to look like. Are these little three-headed whiskey cactuses over here. I don't know, man. So I'm not buying it. There we go. I want to see more of those power hits. That's what I want to see. Power hits. I could probably figure out how best to do that if I had any semblance of, like, strategy or skill with the game. Instead of doing the button mash thing. But, uh... Not gonna lie. <laughs> the button mash thing is quite appealing. Alright, what do we got here? Comfrey. More comfrey. Well, that's that's dandy. That's just dandy. Alright, so here we go. We are entering new territory now. This is new territory. We were not here in the last stream. So, uh, we need to figure out where... Um, where uh, we need to go to get around this gigantic fort. Because this fort is going to get in our way as we attempt to make our way to uh, Logris, I believe is the, the name of the capital city, where Artorius is supposed to be holed up. And obviously, you know, all we care about right now is murdering that man. Because revenge... So that's really all we're doing right now is, like, we got all these people helping us, and that's cool. But, like, we don't care if we're just out for revenge. Come on, really? And almost certainly things are not going to end up being that simple. Alright, so we'll do a little more, uh, enemy grinding. I think we'll just kind of clear the area out. Do some pest control. Yeah. Do the pest control. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to be ganged up on. None of that. That's how you lose souls. Okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let's do ourselves a little favor and plug in that controller. And there we go. And problem solved. It's inevitable that I will run out of juice on my controller every stream. <laughs> it's just. It's just how it goes, man. Got an amber bracelet. Uh, does anybody need that? Um, who uses a bracelet? Is that you? No. You? No. 
Who uses a bracelet? Unless that's one of these. No, it's not. Huh. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know who the amber bracelet's for. Alright, well, we'll hold on to it. Oh, is it this? It's this. Okay. It's his weapon. Got the, the weapons in Tails games get weirder and weirder and weirder. I mean, props. Props to the Tails games for having, like, interesting weapons instead of just sword, spear, axe all the time. They do have very, you know, unique weapon selections for the characters, but... I mean, man. Sometimes they just get very, very quite outlandish. Alrighty. Killing the slimes. Gotta take out the slimes. Alright. And there he goes. Victory is ours. Nicely done, Rokuro. Okay, amber boots for both Rokuro and Velvet. So, we can uh, really not do anything with them <laughs> because we don't have any other boots. Uh, actually, Rokuro has not mastered battle boots. So we can get him to master some battle boots. So this is a good one to pick. Uh, absorb HP. HP recovery. I think just... I think absorb HP. I like that. Let's give him that one. Alright, so he can master that. That's good. There's going to be a lot of equipment management in this game. So much. Just by virtue of how that proficiency system works, which is cool. I don't mind it. It's certainly better than some other equipment systems from other Tales games. Hello there. We have Amber Paper. That, I believe, is for Lafacette. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do that so much. I'm definitely gonna do that. All these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malachim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. We are not exactly normal ourselves. Well, there we go. We can burn vines. Okay. Boom. Light it up. Alright, so we are gaining more ways to deal with obstacles. Which I guess is the stand-in for puzzles, because we don't really have those anymore. We don't really have those anymore. No more puzzles, because... I don't know. I guess, like, puzzles in dungeons and video games just isn't really a thing anymore. Oh my god, stop taking all my souls, you dumb scorpions, Jesus! There we go, I got, well, I got one soul back. Alright, we need to really... There we go. I was gonna say, we really need to get more souls. Because fighting with fewer than three souls is really, really tough. It's a tough ask. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it. All right, this guy wants a wants a piece. All right, watch out for these scorpions, man. They like to take your souls away. We shall not let that happen. There we go. Now I have extra souls. Extra, extra souls. All right, all right, all right. None of that. None of that. Okay, okay. There we go, got him. I unleashed all my power. What are you talking about, Rokuro? I landed the killing blow. Come now. 
Come now, game. I disagree. What is this? More comfrey. Okay, cool. Alright, so we have a choice to make. We have two different paths. Two different paths. That is the outside area. Okay. So we don't know which way to go yet. So we'll just pick a pick a path and take it. Take a potato chip and eat it. Alright, let's see uh, if this path is any good. I mean, we're going to have to go both ways uh, no matter what we do anyway. This looks like a shop is up there. All right, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what this is. We got an herb, we got rosemary, and now we actually have a number of different units we can use this on. Increases art attack. I feel like you, Moloch number two, would appreciate this art attack up. Oh god, I know I've already spoiled it, so it doesn't matter, but... <laughs> It's not like the game hasn't already hinted at it anyway. It doesn't... Whatever, man. Whatever. There's bigger spoilers involved anyway. That's that's a minor spoiler at most. All right. So here we go. We couldn't go that way because of a giant chasm that we cannot cross yet because we don't have any way of doing so. Certainly, at some point, we will learn some way of dealing with that, but right now we don't uh, have any way of getting across large gaps. So we must go this way. Hello there, little spider. I'm going to kick you to death. And take all of your souls and become very, very powerful. And light bonfires. Get it? Because we're collecting souls. It's like Dark Souls. You know, because every game's like Dark Souls. Alright, we just got Amber Blade mastered. We don't have any other weapons, so we'll just stick with the Amber Blade then. And next time we get to a town or something, we definitely need to check out equipment. Um, because... Actually, well, actually, we could probably forge some stuff. Damn it, this is how we lose our souls! Yeah, we need to check out, um... We can't, we can't actually forge new weapons. We can only upgrade existing weapons. So we still have to buy, at some point we're gonna have to buy a new weapon, or find a new weapon for, for Velvet. And we can upgrade it. Come on, really? But we can't, uh, just create something brand new. Hello, looks like we hit the cat's jackpot back here. Also, I feel like Aizen should be wearing a cowboy hat. We also have a pirate's eye patch, which also he should be wearing that. That is absolutely perfect. And a 10 gallon hat. L look at that. Look at that. Look how good he looks like that. That's so good. I love it. What about Moloch number two? I don't know. I feel like I don't want to repeat items. I want everybody to kind of have unique attachments. So we'll just stick with that for now. God, I feel like I'm playing Exilia again. <laughs> with the dumb attachments. Alright, what do we got up here? We got a cutscene is what we got. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two is always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. We need to give him a name, What's right? Roku will mean? Well, son number six. <laughs> Same thing then. Not even remotely. Oh. Uh. Um. Where'd everybody go? Uh. Oh no. Oh god, he's wearing his cowboy hat. You all right, kid? We're gonna make cutscenes look so stupid now. Why didn't you say something? If Eisen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. Gotcha there, Velvet. That's not what I meant. Why? 
Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, you thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Uh -huh. Malakim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Well, that doesn't sound Will right. Always be like this. Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> well, there we go. Learning stuff Listen, about kid, stuff. If you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in trouble? Yeah. You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time. And we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. Uh-huh. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Very interesting. We praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons. But Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh. As far as Artorius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Ooh. It's almost like you know Artorius. Want to share with the class? So, Artorius is kind of seen as the good guy. Because he's able to deal with the demon plagues and stuff. But, using what methods seems to be the real conflict. His methods are very, very questionable. Both in the fact that he needs to sacrifice people. Like Lafacette. These are deadly weapons. And uh, the fact that he's using, or he and his, you know, his people, the exorcists, are using uh, Malakim's tools. So we have non elemental damage reduced, art defense up. I feel like I want to do the Void Ring first. I'll do that. Boom. I think we're good with all the equipment mastery so far. Yes. Alright. Um, we've got multiple routes once again. So let's try one, see what it's like, and then try the other. We shall f Oh, see, look at this. We get the other side of that gap. So maybe we don't need to learn how to cross that gap at the moment. We also have a cat's treasure chest up ahead. Let's ch see what we get. We need uh, 35 to open it. We've been getting a whole bunch, so we've, we're pretty good. What have we acquired? Anything new and good? No. I don't know what we just got. I don't know if we even got anything. We found a cat. I mean, I imagine that's all for like a trophy or something. At some point. <laughs> get a, all the cats and get a trophy. That's not really what I'm looking for, man. I'm just looking for some cool uh, attachments. Boom. I will cut down anyone in my Nice, okay. So we have this path. This will take us back to that gap. It's the other side of the gap. We also have an exclamation point up there, so there is a there is a reason to be here other than that treasure chest. Um so we have a 
presumably some kind of side quest or something over here. Also, more of a treasure trove of, of cat's souls, or whatever these are called. Uh, let's let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we have a save point. All right. I feel like we want to go the other way. Let's hit up the save point first. Oh, it's a turtles. Oh, we know turtles. Well, I say we. Like anybody watching this has been watching my YouTube channel. <laughs> but turtles were in Grace's F. So having played Grace's F as one of the last series I did on my YouTube channel, I'm very familiar with turtles. I think they were also in Exilia. Can't remember if they were in Exilia, but I'm pretty sure they were. All right, well, let's hit up the save point. We'll come back to the turtles, because I feel like this is progress. I feel like this side is progress. So I'm gonna go back the other way and see if maybe that leads to just like treasures and stuff. Oh, hello. What do we got here? We got Comfrey. Come free. Come free. It's probably come free. Because the Pokemon named after it is come Hmm. It's probably a play on the name. That's how we know things. We use Pokemon to tell us. Alright. So we're going to go back this way. I'm going to check that other route and see if that leads to... Some kind of dead end route with treasure chests and stuff. Because save points and turtles, which function as like merchants and stuff, uh, usually is an indicator that uh, there's gonna be a boss fight <laughs> or something to that effect. Some kind of event up ahead. That's usually the indicator that like this way to progress. Yeah, see, this is a, uh, a dead end. All right, doing our dungeon crawling. If you count this as a dungeon, I don't even know what counts as dungeons anymore in Tales games. There used to be defined dungeons with like puzzles and stuff. Now it's just areas that have big open rooms with enemies. Which I guess is okay, but I do miss more classic dungeons. But I've whined about that for a while. It is what it is, man. You just gotta accept that that's how it is. Maybe, who knows, maybe Tales of Arise will have dungeons in it. I will say that uh, all this talk about Tales games, whenever I play a Tales game, I always talk about Tales games as a whole. Um, it's, it's something that I've... I'm gonna say something I'm known for. <laughs> that, that would require me to be known in any capacity, which I'm not. But if, if I were to be known for anything, uh, I mean, Gravity Rush is on the list of things that I would be known for. But also, Tails. Tails is kind of my bre bread and butter. It's kind of where I cut my teeth. Um, but, like, I play a lot, I've played a lot of Tails games, and I talk about Tails games all the time. And I haven't played a Tails game since, well, since my... Grace's F playthrough, which really wasn't that long ago. It <laughs> really, really wasn't that long ago, now I think about it. Um, prior to that, it was Vesperia Definitive Edition. Excuse me, Definitive Edition, which was a blind playthrough. And then prior to that was uh, Exilia 2. Um, so, 
and then before that was Exilia. So I haven't played Abyss or Symphonia in a very long time. And um, I'm kind of missing it. <laughs> I'm kind of missing it. I'm going to have to play it again soon. I will do it on I'll do it on my own time for sure. I don't think especially because I don't have like the HD version or whatever the PS3 version or, or, or the Steam version or whatever. Um I just have the GameCube version. And that is standard definition and we'd have a lot of black bars on the screen and also nobody cares. <laughs> nobody would actually care to watch that, I'm sure. Um but it's something I've considered doing is streaming Symphonia again. It was my first first ever let's play on my YouTube channel. Um, that's how I got my start. And, uh, I would love to play it. Again, that's Kratos, I think, by the way. Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I gotta look it up, but for some reason I, I vaguely remember turtles. Me, but for now... Being voiced by Cam Clark in this game, I'm not sure. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. That really the doesn't sound like him, though. traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. <laughs> so what are they here? Are they just merchants? You betcha. And that old white title shop. Yeah. We believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you are going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, sis. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Sure is. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged. <laughs> well, there we go. We got a Toidles. We got a Toidles. All right. Well, we can enhance our weapons and stuff, too. That's pretty cool. I haven't really found the need to get new, um, or to get more items like apple gels and stuff. I really haven't needed to use them. The question is, do you have any equipment that I don't currently own? No. No, you don't. Alright, well. Because we need to get shop level up, let's go ahead and buy a couple of these and buy a couple of these. Oh, that doesn't get any shop points. <laughs> God, alright. Can we enhance anything? We can enhance these shadow daggers. That's kind of cool, but I think I would rather enhance the weapons that my people are currently using. So we'll do that. Pardon me for one second. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're good. That's fine for now. Um, we, we just, we need more new equipment. I'm not as worried about enhancing. Yet. You sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big Indeed. world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. <laughs> a demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. Walk into a bar. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth. Alright, well, we have another new area, and this looks like it's the way out, which is pretty great. So we're getting close to getting out of this cave. What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. No kidding. Yeah, but what are they? <laughs> they are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malachim, so I was number two. Well, there you go. That's a title, not a name. Huh? <laughs> Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> Tiger Festival. I'm going with Tiger Festival. 
That's the name. Alright, so. This path will lead us to the other side of the other gap that we couldn't cross, which is cool. So let's take care of that first, because we know that's a dead end. And we can uh, safely explore this area. Uh, oh, this is a warp point. Very good. We got a warp. We got some money. And we've got somebody to fight. Yeah, here we go. This dude to fight. And then we'll continue on in the other room, and I believe that should lead us to outside. Now, I think we still have a nice little bit of trekking to do once we're out of the cave. I think there's a whole out outside portion as well. If I'm thinking of the same place that I'm, that I'm thinking of. It, this could be a different place, but I, I, think it's, I think it's the same place. Okay, 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 Jesus. There we go. Victory is ours. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a little nostalgic for Symphonia. And Abyss. I haven't played Abyss. I've talked about this a little bit um, in my Nier Automata stream a few streams ago. Um, I really want to play Abyss again. And my problem is I just don't think either Symphonia or Abyss are going to be um, things people want to watch. But also, do I care? <laughs> do I care? I don't think too many people are itching to watch Berseria either, so it's not like... It's not like I'm out here playing the most cutting-edge games anyway. So why not? I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. I probably won't do another Tales game after doing this right away anyway. I'll probably play something different. Uh, regardless. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll have to see. Basically, any Tales game is on the table to be, to be streamed. Except, um, if you wanna live. Exilia or Exilia 2, because my PS3 is a little sketchy. It's, uh, it's been eating discs lately. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to get discs out of the PS3 once they've gone in. Um, which isn't necessarily a problem. Because I don't... I never really had many games for the PS3 anyway. I didn't really play too much of it. Um, but it does mean that PS3 exclusives, like Exilia and Exilia 2, are a lot harder for me to play now. And I'm currently playing original Nier, and I'm not taking that game out <laughs> until I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. But I would not count out the possibility of Symphonia or Abyss, or even maybe something like Legendia. I don't know. Legendia would be a tough sell. Because that game, that game can be a huge pain in the ass from a, from a gameplay standpoint. It's rough. It is really rough. Um, but it's, it's a really cool story. I do really like the story of Legendia. But I don't know if I'm in for that, that, that gameplay slog. That's a game that needs remaking. Like, I, I don't think... Like, what they did with Vesperia was great, right? They did they did a remaster, and that was fantastic. I think they should do the same thing with Symphonia and Abyss. I wish I had power like that. And get them on the PS4 or the Switch. Um, give me HD remasters of those games. Move it or die. Add additional content or not, I don't care. Neither game really needs it. Um, but just give me HD on current gen consoles that function properly. Cough, cough, Steam version of Symphonia, cough. 
Um, and I'll be happy with that. Absolutely. Legendia needs a remake. Legendia needs a remake. Well then, let's move Complete on. overhaul of the of the gameplay. And the graphics, honestly, the graphics weren't the graphics were worse than Symphonia, and the game came out like two or three years afterward. It was kind of weird. The, gra the graphics weren't terrible. They just weren't great. Looks like Ifrid's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. Oh. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Now, I've never played Fantasia, but I can tell you where you... Oh. And Daos. Oh. The demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Oh, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another Bro. land. They called the place Carlin long ago. Bro. It's made from soft, ordinary gold. But they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. So, anyway, coins like that are. Hard is that to that's just by. an Easter egg? I think. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Because this. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. This is a prequel to Zestiria. And to what I to what I understand, Berseria and Zestiria are a totally separate continuity from Symphonia and Fantasia. They are unrelated, as most Tales games are. So, to me, that feels like an Easter egg, and not so much a continuity thing. Like, it's not the same world. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I know those names. I know those names for sure. To be fair, I never played Fantasia. I would love to. That's another one that needs a remake. But even, even without a remake, I would love to see, and I've said this in one of my Tales Let's Plays at some point, I'm sure. Maybe all of them, actually. <laughs> I would love to see all of the old Tales games. And by that, I mean Fanta uh, Fantasia, Destiny, live, Destiny 2, and... I think those are the only other ones that were released here, like, prior to... to Symphonia coming out. But those are, like, Super Nintendo or NES-era games oh I was about to fight that guy there's no guard do we just go in wait this isn't what I expected oh there's a barrier there yeah <laughs> there's a barrier over it they changed the security you weren't kidding were you that scorpion and this barrier all part of your curse you'll be lucky if that's the worst of it a direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. Yeah, so I would love to see. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? We good? Can I talk now? <laughs> I would love to see. Um, just re-releases. Even untouched re-releases. Just... You know, put them on the Switch shop or the, the PlayStation Store or something. So I would love to play them. I would love to play them, but I, you know, I, how am I gonna play them? Emulators. I guess it would have to be emulators. I don't. I mentioned this in my Fire Emblem stream. Come on, really? I don't know the first thing about emulators. I suppose I could research it. <laughs> I suppose I could do that probably do that. Um, but, uh, and the other one I haven't played is Tales of Hearts. Tales of Hearts are, because I, I don't have a Vita. But 
but that's another one that would be really cool if they could get like a remaster on on PS4 or something. I just want to play more Tales games, man. That's all. I want to play more Tales games on current consoles. That's all I want. All I want. But anyway, I digress. Oh, something's going on with my computer. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Nothing's going on with my computer. Everything's fine. False alarm. Just a pop-up. Didn't make any noise, though. Which is great. Normally, they make noise, and it goes out over the stream. And it drives me crazy that that happens. But that did not happen this time. Look at that. Look how good that looks. It's a Tails game. Tails games don't look this good. Till now. You better be ready. Yo. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for a rise. I know it's getting delayed. It's totally understandable that it's getting delayed. I bear no ill will about the delay. It, you know, it is what it is. We didn't even have a release date anyway. Who cares? <laughs> but I am, I'm big hyped for it. It feels like, from what I understand, that this is going to be the start of a new era of Tales games. Which is good, because we need we need a refresh. We do need a refresh. Um, definitely our past due for a refresh. Because we've had... This era has been, what, like, Grace's F, Exilia, Exilia 2, Zesteria, and Berseria all together. That's a lot of games without much in the way of, um, like, big structural changes to the ser to the format. And I understand that, like, Grace's F and Berseria are vastly different from each other. Right, I feel like, I feel like Grace's F doesn't get included in that that era. It kind of sits on its own. But, uh... Between Exilia, Exilia 2, Zestiria, and Berseria, there's been a lot of kind of rehashing. They've had their own little subtle differences and changes and stuff, but on the whole, they're, they're all very, very similar. And, uh, so I definitely can see a nice, meaty change to the format coming in the next game. Kind of like how Grace's F totally, totally revamped things after Vesperia. Because Vesperia, Abyss, and Symphonia were all kind of cut from the same cloth. Okay, cutscene time. This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Alright, let's go kick some ass. I don't even know whose ass we're kicking. Who are these guys? Stop. Those guards are careful. They're not what they see. Oh. Well, what are they? They're dials. They're lizards. There we go. Well, we know from fighting Dial that this is a good combo against these guys. There we go. Oh, these guys are nothing. You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. <laughs> no, but for real, what's the deal? In, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. Yeah, are we gonna give him a name or what? In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. A 
Understood. Keeping watch. Hey, we are giving him purpose. Because we're the good guys, kind of. We're the good guys, asterisk. Are you an enemy? Yeah, you are. Oops. Yeah, you sure are. We shall use fire to burn the plants. Alright, alright. Come on. Right on the verge of, of death there. there you go. Boom. We're finished here. Let's go. We're getting all kinds of level ups, man. We're doing great. We are doing excellent. What do we got over here? We have a life bottle. I will take that for sure. We'll never say no to free recovery items. Alright. We do have a save point out here, which we will take advantage of. And now we're going inside the fort. So we have a third component of this quote unquote dungeon All right. Well, here goes. Into the fort we go. Huh. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it spreads. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what it means to walk with the reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Seagate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. To the top of the gate, we have a new... Goal. We are now in Vortigern. We're fighting these lizard dudes. Come on. Oh, I need to. I need to recharge. Oh, I was gonna say. I thought. A, I thought a soul fell out. There we go. Can I snag it? I can't. Oh, I have. I have five. Okay, never mind. Well, that was dumb. I wish I had got all that time I wasted. Alright, so we got dead soldiers in here. We don't know who... Do we know who these soldiers are? Like, what army they belong to? Or who they're serving? Are they just... I don't know. Come on. Yeah, swallow dance. There we go. Knock these guys out of the sky. Alright, we're making absolute mincemeat of these, uh, these enemies. I do kind of wonder if I'm overleveled here. We're, we're also totally mastered with, with equipment. These guys I remember being a giant pain in the ass. I kind of remember these guys sucking a lot. Maybe I'm wrong. But I, for some reason, remember these guys being a huge pain to deal with. I don't know. Could totally be misremembering. They don't, they don't seem like that difficult, so I guess not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, they're fine. Come on, really? Alright, we've cleared out this room. Onward we go. So, is this going to be a huge sprawling dungeon? Or is this going to be... Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Look how good this looks. 
fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, it can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. Uh -huh. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. Well, there we have it. Look at that water. Look how good it looks. I'm sorry, I'm just not used to Tales games having such lush graphics. I mean, they've always looked decent. But, jeez. Alright. So, so far we've been on a, on a pretty linear path here. There hasn't been much in the way of, like, trying to figure out where to go. We, we have pretty much just straight paths. So let's, uh, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, hey, dude. Like your mustache. Oh, okay. Well. Welp. Knock knock. This door should lead to the gate. And it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, why don't we bust it open? No, guess not. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain? Uh-huh. Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgan. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty. I demons. guess they are just Abbey Knights. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. Spoken like a true pirate. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. Indeed. And my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Nope. Well. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I feel like the good guys. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. I mean, we're very clearly not the good guys. Right. right. That's that's not like it's in the control room. It's through there. We're very clearly like no more anti heroes at best. That's not really up for debate. Ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? Why not both? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go where the star on my map is. Okay. Oh, there's so many different ways to go. So we know that this one door is out because it's locked up tight. So we'll hit up the save while we're here because we can and we should. Okay. So we have this way. We have this way. This is the way we came. So we have this door, we have this path up here, and we have this way. We also have a skit. You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. 
You really never use them yourself? No, not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. Oh, jeez. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. Yeah, yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth. All right, guys. Jesus Christ. What? Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pilots under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Arturius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists then. There you the go. The better they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, killing people, because we're the good guys. All right, what happens if we go out this way? We have a dead end, which is great. That's what we want to see. I want to see dead ends. That's where you know where the treasures are. All right, fight the bats. And also pretty decent grinding opportunities. Battles that aren't too difficult, they're, you know, just kind of slice right through them. Gain some experience, get some uh, equipment proficiency. And uh, let's all have a good time. Boom. Come on, really? Two level ups. And you have just mastered Amber something? Oh no, we, we got something. We acquired an item. That's what it was. Alright. Great. Yeah, don't shoot your magic at me, dude. None of that nonsense. Quit it with your magic shooting. Man, these guys are going down real easy. I just want to double check something. We are on normal, right? Okay. I'm not saying that things are too easy, but they're kind of too easy. <laughs> At some point, it may behoove me to bump this up to hard mode. We'll see. Not, not yet. Okay, 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 okay. Look at, look at me talking with my big mouth. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> I got myself a soul. There we go. Big power hits. Nice. All right. Take this dude out. This dude's casting magic, and I don't like it. Quit your magic casting. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Quit your magic casting. We got a life bottle. That's great. I'm happy to get free recovery items and healing items and resurrection items and stuff, but... To be fair, don't really need life bottles right now. Much more could use better equipment. Better equipment would be the better get. Alright, so we have... That's where we came from, so let's check this way out first. This looks like a bit of a dead end, I believe. I don't think I can interact with any of this stuff. We've got bats. And other such creatures. There we go. 
go. Boom. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like I remember them being hard. Come those on, specific, really? those wall enemies being a problem. But they're not. <laughs> they're certainly not. Alright, take those amber bracelet. Uh, what else we got? We have... We do have a path up this way. Hello. Is that a thing I saw? Alright, so this does look like a way forward. This is onward to progress in some form. So let's see what's over here. This appears to be a dead end though. Oh no, it's not. It's a it's a ladder. All right. Well, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's... It, the star is over there. That's where we need to go. Alright, so this does appear to be progress. This appears to be the way we need to go. So I am going to go back. I am going to return. Good thing is the enemies stay dead for a while. So I don't have to, like, refight things as I retread rooms. Which is a very, very great quality of life thing that... Tales games have, more recent Tales games have started to do. So I can't tell you how many times playing Vesperia specifically um, I would have to like retrace my steps and stuff and just have to slog through enemy battles. Alright, but anyway. Let's continue this way. I'm hoping this is dead ends, a pair of dead ends. That would be ideal. Oh, I see that treasure chest. Money. Equipment would be nice. Can I have equipment instead? I would like equipment. This feels like definitely dead end, right? It's got to be dead end. All right. Gather these things up. Head on over here. This is the side we need to be on, but uh, lovely, a fallen boulder. They're not much for maintenance around here. Too bad we'd never be able to smash through it. If it weren't for bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck at all. I suppose. We still have to get through here somehow. Let's see if we can find some way to move the rock. All right, we got to be able to move. The rock. Alright, so this is a functional dead end for us at, at, at present. That's good to know. So this route is not uh, anything else. We have another route over this way. This could help us take out the, uh, the boulder. If there's something we can like drop on it from up, he up here, maybe. Go. Get on out of here. Get out. Get out. Get, get, get out. Get, get, get out of here. There we go. Come on, really? Amber waistcoat. What you got now? You got a regular waistcoat. But it's currently in use by other people. So you're just going to have to sit on that for a bit. All right. Is that another enemy? Oh, hey. Hey, bat. Get out of here. Destroy all these little bats. Alright. Let's take a look at the map and see if we're in fact going in a direction that appears to lead to a dead end, that, that would be ideal. There we go. The good thing is, we have we have the, the star on the map, so we know where we need to go, and if we end up there, we can always turn around and go a different direction. That is not a problem. But this is going in the complete opposite direction 
of the uh, the star. So that gives me um, <clears throat> the worm and fuzzies that we're going in a direction that is not, you know, that's going to be a dead end with treasures, which appears this is. So there we go. Alright, so no way to progress in either of those paths. Which means the only way to progress now is to go back this way and go over here. This appears to be the only way to progress. Have we gone that way? We can't go that way. That's the locked door. Okay. So there we go. So we know where we must go to progress. And that is this door. Let's go ahead and save again, since we're here. Since we are here, All right. We want to go here. Let's do it. All right. So we know progress is ahead this way. We uh, are confident that this is the only other path to take at the moment. So we will continue on. And here goes. Let's climb the ladder. All right. Well, now we're up here on the big roof with a hundred thousand enemies. We got a whole buttload of enemies up here. That's, uh, that's some good grinding. Sounds like some good grinding to me. Boom. Oh, we got a soul. Oh, I don't need a soul. I don't need souls. I'm maxed out on souls. Boom. If you want to live, get out of my way. Nicely done. Nicely done. We have another. We have another. Hey, don't do that. Another ladder to go down. Alright. Get out of here, man. Get out. There we go. Victory is up. Another lizard dude. So these are all knights. All of these guys are knights that have been consumed by demon blight. That is what we have learned. Causing the demon blight specifically here. Like we know in general what's causing the demon blight. It's just like well, actually, I, don't even, I don't know that we even know that. But point being, we don't know why this place has suddenly been hit with demon blight. So that's something. And also, we know it's not Eisen's fault. Your style is really not Eisen's fault. Somebody just mastered some equipment. It was you with battle boots. We don't have any other boots, so you're just going to have to sit tight again. We definitely need to go shopping. <laughs> Next time we reach any kind of town or anything, we definitely need to go shopping. All right, what does Verbena do? It does defense up. Give me that. Hello there. I will fight you to the death. God, look at the look at how quickly their health is diminishing. Jeez. There we go. 
victory is ours. All right. I think we've cleared the area. Oh, no, there's still guys over there. I don't care. I'm not going back over. I'm not going back over that way. All right, so we're in here now. And we are kicking names and taking ass. And continuing on. Oh, we are, like, right outside. We are, like, right outside the the way, man. The, this is hold up. Oh, okay, yeah. We haven't been on this side. We've been on this side, okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We haven't missed anything. Far as I can tell, there's a treasure chest over there. We're gonna have to find a way to get that. Go. Big damage. Big damage. Come on, really? Boom. Fantastic. So this is the way in, and the door is locked. It won't open. It's locked from the inside. That's a real thick door, too. This must be the control room, right? That's my guess. We need another way in. That window would probably work if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. Well, there we go. We need to find a way in. How shall we get in? It's a mystery to me, man. I don't know. I got a, I got a bunch of vines here. Can't imagine that we need to climb these vines. Okay, well, we're up here. We know there's a treasure chest over on this side of things. There's also an enemy that wants to get destroyed up here. Boom. I think I just generated a soul, but I, I've got five now, so that doesn't really matter. Get out of here, you dumb wraith. Boom. You won't get any pity or compassion. All right. Do you need to hit up this side and grab this treasure chest? Which gives us an earth ring. And we have a way in. We do have a way in. Here goes. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. The other room. Oh, I see a compass. Aha, uh -huh. found it. Oh, look at this. Ow. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The, the bump is? No, I'm talking about the pain. But, but I'm scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway. Aw, this is precious. Sure fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? Precious and wholesome. You like this, right? I, I don't really know. Hmm, that's curious. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. 
not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass too. Nice work. Yeah, because the other one fell in the ocean. Thank you. Look at you, number two, getting praised. Now to take care of that ship. Right. The docks. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? My compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Sure did. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. I bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? Yeah, I think the Goo Goo Dolls said That's something like that, right? Told me. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll just push your bump back down. You'll be good as new. Yeah, that's not how it works. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. Oh, okay. Look at that. Velvet cares about something. Besides revenge. I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. Alright, so that's, that's it for this room. Let's check out the other room. Oh. Oh, no, that's the exit. Okay. They said the other room. There's another room, right? Oh, is this the this is the other room that we can't get it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's more it's silk. Oh god, with the friggin' Easter eggs. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen. It's soft as a baby's skin. It's light and stretchable. Oh, with your dandarantulas and your Moritzes. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs. And your douses and your Martels and your Carlons and your Yggdrasils. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is. Your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. Okay. Man, all it's doing is making me want to play other Tales games. <laughs> With all your friggin' references. I feel like I'm gonna have to play the other ones on, on screen at some point. I'm gonna have to do it. I don't know. It's gonna have to happen. Boom. Shadow daggers. Shadow daggers have been mastered. We've got amber daggers. Uh, art defense or maximum HP? I think maximum HP. Boom. All right, so now where do we go? Well, we can open the door. That's right, we can open that locked door. So we, re we need to return to that place. We need to return to the locked door. We can go through the locked door now. And that should probably open up the, the other half of the dungeon. Marit's Silk, huh? wonder how he feels about his legacy being... Legacy, haha. <laughs> his legacy being... Uh, Silk. He was a good character. I liked him a lot. 
Seriously, Legendia, Legendia has a, a very interesting story. Alright, so we should be able to open this door now. I just wish the character quests were more integrated in the story. And not just, like, tacked on at the end. Wait, what? Huh? 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 I thought that's what we just did. We Didn't we just get the key to that door? Am I being a big dumb? Oh. Oh. How do we get there? Alright, well, I guess we go this way. Hmm. What we doing? We need to go down. Further. Somehow. So we go this way. And this is this is where the docks are. But how do we huh. Is it now time to do something about this rock, maybe? No. How do we get down there, man? How do we get down there? Don't remember. All right, let's let's look at the map again. Well, we can go this way. Maybe this way we'll have some kind of cutscene or something triggered, where we can get some type of oh oh yeah. There was a loud noise below, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. Got it. And there we have it. And there we have it. And now we have done something about that boulder. Perfect. Alright. Here we go. Into the new part of the dungeon. Alright, so that's it for here. We've got more enemies up ahead, but we do have a path forward, which is great. That is exactly what we're looking for. Alright, you'll fight me in a minute. Hold on, I'm... I'm... I'm exploratizing. Alright, we'll fight you. We'll fight you guys. Don't shoot me with magic. No, don't shoot me with magic. There we go. Boom. I need to guard break, man. We need to guard break. Boom. Alright. Oh, there's another guy. I see him. He's over there. There he is. Now we got him. I unleashed all my power. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Um, do I really need to do I feel the need to fight those guys I kind of don't think I do let's go ahead and head on down the steps how do you plan to stop the battleship it's equipped with large cannons the plan is to use their gunpowder against them is it is that the plan I'm gonna blow them up with their own explosives Need to, need to restore my souls. There we go. Boom. Come on, really? Very good. Uh, we have more enemies up ahead, which is great. Take care of them. Take care of them, nice and easy. Right, so I understand that the wraiths and the wall, the wall dudes and the lizard people are demons. That were the knights, 
that were turned into this stuff by the demon blight. But like, what about the bats? This place just got bats flying around. Your style is really unique. I guess it just got bats. Just got a bat infestation problem. Seems like maybe they should look into that. Although, considering everybody here is now a demon, I guess the bat problem is not really as much of a problem anymore. Oh god damn it. Fuck off, wall man. Boom. Well then, let's move on. We're gaining levels left and right here. This seems pretty crazy. Alright, we got a dead lizard dude. Hi! Oh, are you gonna be a boss? A Nexus is Praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait! Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style. Oh, Rangetsu, huh? Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll no, but this is personal. Sorry. <clears throat> this prey is mine. Oh, do I have to fight him alone as Ro Rokuro? I think I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Alright, so this is definitely... It's not, like, a super boss. But it's kind of kind of boss. Boss adjacent. It's a strong enemy. I mean, these little dudes are not. It's an event battle, at the very least. Alright, these guys are going down so easy. Why are they so easy? It's a false sense of security, man. It's gonna there's gonna be a, a difficulty spike at some point. I'm gonna be feeling super comfortable. I'm gonna go and get bodied. But damn, this just seems broken. We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's. I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legate Shigure of the Abbey. Oh boy. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. Oh boy. <laughs> so that means... There is somebody related to Rokuro involved with the Abbey. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. So we have officially infiltrated the fort, taken it over, and we can now pass through. Mission accomplished. Well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo, the Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Well, isn't that convenient? Is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. All right. Time to pass through the fort. Let's get our gate on. Let's get our gate on, he says. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why are you kitchen knife in makers? No, I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamada knives are cursed. Hmm? What does he care? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. 
I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Langetze. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. Well, there we have it. All right, so where are we going now? Where is our goal? That, oh, the door. We can go to the door now. Okay, cool. So we actually want to go to the door. Well, we do know exactly where that is, and it's not too far away. <laughs> so let's go for it. Alright. Oh, we do have some enemies in here that we left behind. That's fine. We can take them out. Cleaning up after ourselves. Boom. Got him. Alright. Your turn, my dude. Get on out of here. Nope. Oh, mm. Eyes and snake in my kill. That was my kill, man. Come on, really? Alright. And we got a bat. Look, we should charge these guys for taking care of their bat problem. Seriously. Boom! This dude's weak to wind, I think, because he's an earth... Come on, really? Earth dude, but I only have, like, one wind art, and that's, uh, Swallow Dance. That's okay. Regular enemies is just not worth, like, customizing your... your arts. Just to deal with regular enemies. Bosses is a different story, but... I don't know. Guess it depends. Alright. So here we go. I still feel like there's a boss fight in here somewhere. We really haven't had a boss fight yet. That Praetor guy wasn't... That doesn't count. Alright, what lies beyond the door? We shall find out. Alright, it's open. Oh. What was that? Problem. It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! Alright. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. Yeah. Alright. Quickly. Yeah, quickly. Quickly, they said. Totally not <laughs> anticipating. A giant monster blocking the way. Or, more likely, a high ranking member of the Abbey. Alright, wall dudes, come on. Yeah, they are a bit of a pain. But they're, they're not, I don't know, for some reason I, I remembered them being like really, really tough to deal with. But I guess I was just remembering incorrectly. I'm probably thinking of some other enemy from this or a different Tales game. I don't know. But I am losing my souls, which is not great. Can I kill this guy to get a soul? Oh, well, it doesn't even matter because the battle's over. All right. And we got two level ups. And people are learning arts, which is pretty great. That's real great. Real, real great. Boom. All right. All right, all right. Get me, get me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between the wall, dudes. There we go. That's a little better. All right, all right, all right. I wanna what here. Let's let me let me deal with these rates instead. <laughs> Let's deal with the wraiths instead, because they're easy to deal with. 
early. Alright, now the wall guys. Okay. Okay. Come on, really? I need to kill some more enemies because I need to get some health back. I really don't want to use Apple Jaws. I shouldn't need to. We kill enough enemies, we get the HP recovery from killing stuff, and that's, that should be good enough. Alright. Let's do ourselves a, an herb grab. We got uh, lavender. That will increase my attack by two. Um, I feel like... Let's dump that onto Velvet. Oh, there's another enemy over there. Fuck that. No thanks. No thank you, please. Alright, we have another ladder to climb. That's fine. Anything over here? There's an there's a item pickup. Getting a lot of chip copper coins. I hope they're worth something. Alright. There's definitely a boss fight coming up. There's definitely, definitely a boss fight coming up. I know it. I feel it in my bones. There's a boss fight coming up. I think I rem... Actually, I have a suspicion of who I'm fighting. Open up that so, gate. This opens the gate. One side, yes. Mm. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. So we gotta pull both levers. There we go. Right. One, one down. The other I would imagine it's in the room on the other side of this. No, I don't want to exit the dungeon. That's not what I want to do. Um, I imagine, yeah, it's right over there. How do we get there? Um, with the ladder. Certainly. Up we get. Alright, up here on the rooftop. You'll be rushed on my floor. I'm. I have a, a vague recollection of Come on, really? what's coming up. Amber boots, battle boots for you. We need battle boots for you. All right, maximum HP up. Let's do maximum HP up. Uh, or yeah, maximum HP up is probably good for you. Let's do that. Yeah, honestly, in this game, the, the enemy fighting just doesn't feel like excessive grinding. I don't know. Feels totally fine. A lot of times I don't enjoy excessive battling. But in this game, it, it's, it's feeling pretty natural. And not, like... Doesn't feel like an inconvenience yet. Yet. You're stuck. Key word. Alright. Um, I will avoid some of these enemies. Oh, somebody just cast Grave. Who casted Grave? Is it the Wraiths? Or was it one of my guys? Who's out there learning Grave already? That's crazy. That's like mid to late game Tales of Symphonia spells. All right, enough of your shit, man. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Alright, I don't think there's anything else up here other than just enemies to fight, so we're just gonna go on down. We'll pop this other, uh... This other lever. 
and brace ourselves for what comes next. Now, hold on. Have we been out? We haven't. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's pop this lever. There we go. And the gate is open. Ah, oh, damn it. There's a cat's treasure chest out there. I should have done it. I, mm, I'm mad at myself now. Now I'm mad at myself. Oh, we have the... We have the opportunity. Back to the docks. We do have the opportunity to come out here and grab this. Okay. Fantastic. What do we got? We got rosy cheeks. Boo. I guess we'll give that to... We'll give that to you. You got rosy cheeks. Anybody else got anything cool? No, all right, we're good. All right, so we need to go back to the docks, which is where exactly? Well, it's telling me I need to go to this ladder. This ladder seems to be it. Is the, the boss fight on the roof? Yeah, it is up here. This is where we fight something. You do that. This guy. This is my. This is my. This is my. This guy. Oh, we're gonna lose another compass. God damn it. We just cannot keep a compass, can we? All right. Battle tutorial, okay. Spending three break gauge levels will unleash an ultimate art and also provide one soul. In addition, defeating an enemy with a mystic art will increase item drop rates. All right, use L2 during a combo to activate a mystic art. Is that not a combo? All right, he's guarding. Why is he guarding? How do, how do I... what? <laughs> I'm trying to use L2 in the middle of a combo. It's not fucking working. Does he have to not guard? I mean, he's guarding. I can't do anything about that right now. <laughs> I, d I don't understand. Uh, I'm not, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, once learned, Mystic Arts can be used to devastate foes by holding L2 during a combo with three or more BG. So arts ignore the combo limit and are useful extending combos. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Alright. Bitchin'. Alright, so mo more importantly, he is weak to uh, Fiend and Armored. So we gotta check and see if we have Fiend and Armored. Um, so he's resistant to non-elemental attacks also. So we need Fiend and Armored. There's Armored, Megasonic Thrust. That's all we have is just Armored. We don't have anything for Fiend. So I guess we'll just do Megasonic Thrust, Megasonic Thrust, Megasonic Thrust, Megasonic Thrust. That's not good. We don't want to do that. Um, we can do things that aren't... Uh, non-elemental. And end it with Megasonic Thrust. Alright, so that's what we'll use. Alright, so he's guarding quite a bit. He's got a lot of health. But he shouldn't be too problematic. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's good, good, good damage. Okay, if we can get past his guard. There we go. Those attacks do hit hard. That's real good. So what I don't know is how we get more numbers on those... Uh, on that break gauge, or whatever, scale. I 
right, how do we get up to, to three? Oh, he's doing Soul Burst. Don't do Soul Burst. All right, stop doing that. There we go. There we go. There's big damage. There's big damage. All right, yeah. This guy's toast. This guy's big toast. Extra crispy toast. Kicking his ass. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. So we've learned how to do Mystic Arts now. Wouldn't be a Tales game without Mystic Arts. Oh, look at all those demons. The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Not if we go down there and kill them. Rats, we don't have long. Rats. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Bitchin. Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the I Freed Way. Anime cutscene. Here we go. It's coming at full speed. Let's get a move on then. Better grab that compass, kid. Can't afford to lose another one, man. I've already lost two compasses. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? <laughs> Better get a move on. Found it. Wait, what are you? Should have kept it in your bag, kid. Oh no. Yep. Trigger that PTSD right there, man. Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry. Yes! Oh, hey, Magalu. Way to be there. Let's go. Way to be there, Magalu. We appreciate your contribution. Look at that. We got some arts. And we got some equipment skill mastery. A whole bunch of it. So hopefully we'll hit up a town. Okay, here we go. Filling this gauge. How do we fill the gauge? The blast gauge. Uh, to unleash it. Blah, 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 blah. Performing break souls is the best method of restoring BG. Okay. Hey, Magalu. Way to contribute. Nicely done. You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. <laughs> but it was fun, and everything worked out, right? Oh dear. I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want Eisen to told safe. you to keep it in the bag, man. Give it. I need to set a course. Uh, 
Oh my god, he looks so precious with the little rosy cheeks. Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and your shark bait. <laughs> Better work hard. Um what's Lofty said? Ooh. It's a name. Your name. My my name? Lofty said. It's a fine name. Well, so Magilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Lofty said. Aye aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logress. See, it's not a spoiler anymore, guys. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. We're good. All right, we're actually going to Logress, I think. Like, we're we're pretty close to actually getting there. That's like, I'm pretty sure that's our next stop. Now this is refreshing. Sailing into port like normal people. Yeah. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. <laughs> this won't be a problem, docking the pirate ship here. So, how were the northern seas, Eisen? Aha! Melavis and Vortigern we have an inn. Ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Ifried was sent to Titania. Yeah, well, we didn't see him there. Prison overseen by the Exorcist, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logress. Lots of watchful eyes. About well, we better get over there for the grand ceremony. Hadn't we? I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information. For mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. Of course. I bet Eisen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Well, there we have it. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I was there. Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections Von? to the highest levels of really? the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Like, yes. we don't have enough fucking Royal references. <laughs> I've never been there, though. And Velvet. And your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all I mean, Eifried doesn't place. count, because he's in every game. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. But the name Van is most certainly an Easter egg. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use I her guess. as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting if vessel. If you don't know, it. it's not a spoiler. Give you the details. But they have literally name dropped three names that are very spoilery. If you were to know those three names, there's a pattern in the names that they're name dropping and it's a very spoilery pattern and I don't much appreciate it <laughs> all right I remember this place um let's see these are shops so I do want to first of all I want to go into the inn 
because that's going to be useful. There may be hidden stuff in there. We have a treasure chest right here. We've got some money. That's great. Let's check out the inn. See all the hidden goodies in here. Sure, we have a uh, an exclamation point in here. We don't have an exclamation point on Maxwell's Rendezvous. Bro, with the references, though, it's getting a little too, uh, too heavy-handed. <laughs> All right. At least that one's not super spoilery. I've heard there's a prison island somewhere where they keep the worst of the worst, but it's a hard tale to swallow. It's true. And the rumors that hundreds of demons are imprisoned there? Also that true. People say that no one has ever escaped from there alive. Untrue. That one's a lie. After all, we're here. Wait. <laughs> mean... Keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, you'll fare worse than anyone on that island. Y yes, sir. I didn't hear a thing. This bar looks pretty crazy, though. I want to... I want to see it at this bar. Man, I miss bars. I miss going out and doing things. Shit. Alright, here's a treasure chest over here. That's great. I'm very interested in that calcite blade. Nice! Alright, we have a new weapon. Oh, she's also mastered the fire ring. Which is great. She has not yet mastered the Earth Ring. Let's go ahead and give her the Earth Ring. We can do attack up or defense up. I think I like defense up better. So let's do that. What else? We got Earth Ring over here. He's mastered that. Has he mastered the Fire Ring? He has not. We've got HP recovery on defeating foes. I like the sound of that. He also has mastered plain paper. We can give him Amber Paper, Art Defense, HP Recovery, Focus, Focus, Art Defense, Focus, and Art Defense. Yes, please. That's the correct answer right there. Boom. What else have we mastered? Other people have mastered things, certainly. Uh, this, not yet. All right. Amber Boots. He has not yet mastered battle boots, though. Let's do HP recovery. Let's, let's do attack up. Alright. I think we're good now. Uh, this. Yeah, we need equipment there. We need another garment. We need a garment and a belt. F and, and boots. Garment, belt, and boots. Is what we need for, uh, for velvet. Hopefully you sell some of those things. What do you have? You have Panacea bottles. I feel like I should buy a few of those. Um, calcite paper. I guess I might as well get it. Amber paper we already have. Calcite bag. We'll snag that. We'll snag a calcite talisman. Calcite belt. Calcite garment. There we go. Now we're getting the shit we need. I'll get two of these. Because uh, we'll probably need them. Calcite boots. We'll get a, both calcite boots. All right. We've got that. So let's go ahead, and now we can really start to do some work here. We can really start to do some work here. Uh, art defense plus five, HP recovery, attack, and absorb HP. I like attack and absorb HP. I like that better. You are still working on all your stuff. You have mastered waistcoat, so we need... We can get you the calcite waistcoat. I do eventually want to give you this waistcoat, because the earth resistance is going to be good. Um, but we definitely want uh, one of these for you. Let's go ahead and do art attack and art defense. That doesn't sound useful for Rokuro, so we'll give you that. Uh, and you're good. All right. So I think our equipment needs have been met for the time being. So this part of the map is done. And I do want to take a moment to talk to that cat's over there, because I believe that cat's over there has dealings with a mini game that I really would like to play. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, 
You even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Eifried goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. Well, there we go. Got another dude over here. Hello. Crabs are amazing, right? Oh, yeah. They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. And five sets of legs. That's so many. That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. Uh -huh. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, sure do. We could make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be tasty? No. No idea. <laughs> no way. All right. Well, we got a treasure chest here with a Denor bottle. All right. We do have a save point. Which I will go ahead and quickly grab. Grab the save point. And here we go. We are going to talk to this cats over here and see what this mini game is all about. Slash thrust pop. Who wants to play a game? Um, uh, champ balloon. This is not the mini game I thought it was. Um, play slash beat. What's item exchange? Oh, we can get cool stuff. We can get a mini Marta and a mini Luger. Why would I want those? <laughs> those characters aren't great. Oh, we got Normans. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, not Normans. Anything but Normans. All right, well, I, d I don't have Tails coins, so we need... Uh, let's play... Uh, let's help. How do I do Chambaloon 2? Set the challenger, see how quickly you can break all the balloons that appear. Controls are the same as a standard battle. Okay, um, and what's slash beat? Uh-huh. Alright, let's try Chambaloon. Let's try Chambaloon. Let's see how that goes. Let's do, uh, uh, Velvet. Let's see, how many balloons can we destroy? Boom. Got 110. That's fantastic. Boom. It's going to be fewer on, coins. Really? Oh, there's the same amount of coins. Alright, no, I don't want to play again. Okay. Well, that's, that seems kind of dumb. Alright, that's fine. Let's go this way. Got another dude. Over here, to talk to. <sighs> the wind's kicking and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Are you now? Set sail. Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. Well, fuck and the Abbey. Their permission? Why? The kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha! Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. Well, it's geez, they strict. sound like but snakes. It's necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. 
A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Okay, dude, chill out. <laughs> a sea dog. How do you say that with a straight face? Getting more life bottles than I ever am gonna need. Wasn't there something with, like, collecting cats or something? Is there a side quest for that? No, that's, that's Astral Chain. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? We got another cats. 75, that's pretty pricey. This better be a good one. Boo. I ain't get shit for that. That's lame sauce. We got over here. Dude, uh, the storehouse. Okay, yeah, be gone. Did he just really say be gone to me? Hell out of here, man. I think not. Alright. Look at that water, though. Look how good that looks. Alright. This is... We can't go in there. Can't go in here. Can't go in here. Kill these people. Can't do anything with any of these people. Alright, well, that was that. That is all we were able to do there. Alright, well. Not much more exploring to do. We can go over this way. We're not going to be allowed out, but there's still a little bit more exploring we can do over here. We haven't discovered anything on this side of things. That's really kind of it. Okay, well, let's hit up the save point and hit up whatever this cutscene is by the ship. And there we go. Cool. Alright. So how are we getting to Logris? You tell me, dude. Eisen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Okay. Uh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast open oceans we call the outer seas. Oh yeah, and that's right. To explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world. A map of the world. That's right. I freed's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltias already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing. You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, <laughs> if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. Oh exchange, yeah, they they the dig up LTA treasures and stuff. Service. And you can keep anything we find in our exploration. That's right. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a sylph jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure or maybe some rare food or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. Sure could. Right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. All right, expedition. We can dispatch the Von Eltia. All right, and we have Layman C. And there's um, a whole bunch of things that we can find. Yes, I do wish to. It will return in five minutes. Scout ship setting sail. All right, cool. Or five seconds. Doesn't normally come back that quickly. Take a look at this. Found soy sauce and dried fish. It's three battles. The number of victories will determine the items and EXP received. Might also uncover special rewards like recipes, new areas, and treasures. And also... They can, I think they can find places that I can go to and do side stuff. Alright, well, let's go back out. See, we have... Yeah, this one's going to be 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. So now we just wait for news. 
Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly. Tuna or yellowtail or sturgeon! <laughs> okay. Yeah, so basically, we can see here that there's... Uh, unlock area, there's three specials, and there's three more materials that we can find. So, people who want 100% things are going to be very angry about all of that. <laughs> um, I'm certainly not going to try to 100% all of that either. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll keep doing the expeditions whenever it comes back in. It'll let me know when it comes back in, and I'll be able to push out and do some more of that stuff, and... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but we can now exit through this gate over this way. Which is cool. We still have a little bit of time. So we can try to make our way to Logris. Hopefully we'll get there. And uh, see what comes next. So I'm sure we have some grasslands Sir, out here. Scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Oh jeez, what? Level has been classified as code red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red Demon in our midst. Oh Send boy. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Code Red Demon. With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red Demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around Ooh, 10 such Ooh, this is what I was thinking of. Oh, this is what I was thinking tough. of. That, that masked that bat thing is what I thought this was. Suffice it to say... You wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. Because, um, yeah. Code Red Demons are exceptionally strong. It's recommended you only engage them when you're sufficiently prepared. Um, this is, that's similar to, uh, the jobs, some of the jobs in Exilia 2. You said you heard about Ifrit on the prison island, right? I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogulu? <laughs> Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir, if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean... If they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Precisely. All right, let's head on out. Explore the land. We have encounters and battles. If you initiate a battle by making contact with an enemy on the field from behind, advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's old news. Yeah, perilous encounter, which is gonna. Yeah, it's like fighting them both at the same time. Got it. Okay. Very Wait, you're coming too? Why did you come back to us? <laughs> I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't at all. I did. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell <laughs> or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist. Wanna bet? I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! <laughs> Such an icy stare could freeze fire! You don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what is it, Lafayette? Um. Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is running. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. 
pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I pity Magalu. Yeah, we all pity oh, Magalu. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's such a great character. I love Magalu. All right, we'll hit the save. I mean, we'll continue on. I would like to get to Logris. I don't remember if we do right away or if we have we get sidetracked into some other thing or something. But I'm I'm gonna try to push through this overworld area first before we end off. I do remember this place. I remember this map. Very good, very good. All right, there's more stuff out here. This is, we got like wandering chickens and stuff around, right? All right, open up this treasure chest. What do we got in here? We have a calcite waistcoat. See, the good thing is, because of how the equipment's like kind of, not randomized, but ha they have like random skills and stuff, um, for random boons. Like, getting duplicates isn't bad. Like, I could I could get mad that like, I was mystic arting on a normal enemy. Great. That's that's cool. And necessary. Um, like, typically you'd be like, oh, I just bought all this new equipment in the town, and then I go out into the, the dungeon, or the, the next overworld area, and I get all better equipment, or the same equipment I just bought. It's like, well, fuck that. <laughs> But, uh, that's not the case here. Alright, so we need to master the Amber Talisman. Uh, I think... Let's just go with Attack Up. There we go. Alright, yeah, we got some chickens out here. Look at all these enemies, there's so many enemies. Oh, I knocked them over! Knocking them over with my sonic thrust. Boom, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Die, dude. There we go. These guys are a little tanky. That's okay. Boom. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Uh, you have mastered Void Ring and Fire Ring. You have you've not res mastered Resistance Ring yet, though. So let's go ahead and give you that. Oops. And you have mastered the Aqua Ring. Go ahead and take this uh, Fire Ring. Boom. All right. So, what have we not yet explored? We need to go over this way. Now, I'm not gonna fight all these enemies. I mean, I know we're gonna need to fight enemies. All right, we can't. We can't like back off of fighting enemies. But I don't think we need to fight all of them. There we go. Dangerous encounter. We're surrounded by a pack of wolves. There are these wolves. Literally just wolves. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wake up. Grab a brush. With a little makeup. Stop doing that. It's very mean. Very mean, and I will not stand for it. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go. All right. Defeat the wolves. Oh, God. And there's a whole horde of these guys. Holy cow, this really is a dangerous encounter, isn't it? Boom. Come on, really. All right. Well, we have done the thing. 
All right, well, we're heading backwards. I don't want to head backwards. So we're going this way. We've got a couple places to go. I'm pretty sure that forward will take me to Logris. Pretty sure this way takes me to a different area. Which, let's go this way. Is this going to be blocked off? No, this is... Okay, I remember where this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... This is a place. Okay. I have vague recollection of what this area is. I've got a top hat. That's pretty classy. It's pretty classy. Not gonna lie. There's a boss fight here at some point in the game. I remember this being a boss fight. It might even be a uh, side quest boss fight. Got some Chamomile. What do we got here? What does that do? Focus. Uh, I think... We'll just do that on me, because that feels like something that only really benefits the player character. Alright, we can definitely get up there, and we're going to have to in the not-too-distant future. Alright, so this is a dead end. And there's definitely a boss fight in this area, and I'm pretty sure it's a side quest boss fight. Or something. Maybe not. There's There is a boss fight there. Don't remember when. Alright, so we are going to Logris. I know we can go under this bridge, too. Wow. Those walls. They're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Hmm. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Hmm. I'm surprised, Lafayette. You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. <laughs> all I need to find is our Tori. One track mind. That's it. One track mind. Okay, well. We can't go this way. Right, we can't go this way. Because blocked. So we have to find a way around. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. Where are we getting in? I guess we are getting in. Okay. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Oh shit. Uh um Well, your travel permit from the Abbey. Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl. How many times have I told you a magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin? Magician. Verily, I present to you the traveling troop of mischievous misfits known across the land as Magilu's Menagerie. Entertainment for the ceremony? Indeed. Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dub trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to... <laughs> I forgot to prepare. You, you, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Dubs flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. <laughs> a dove. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh my god. Well, look Remember, at that. Muggy Lou's Menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. 
I guess it's a good thing we have Magalu, huh? I guess it's a good thing we have Magalu, huh? <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Magalu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze. Cuckoo. Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. It sure does. Like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their powers brought. The peace. Paid for with Lothies. Velvet? Hmm. See, she doesn't tell anybody anything. We can't leave, by the way, so we can't go back out there and explore. But that's okay. We will definitely have an opportunity to go back out there at some point. Because we're going to have to go to those other areas that we saw earlier. Um, let's explore this place a little bit. We are about ready to start winding down the stream but I'm certainly going to explore this area just a little bit we got a uh, exclamation point there I believe there's some treasure chests around I know we can like climb up on the rooftops or something at some point somewhere around here hello right now Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand he's the crown prince the crown prince what happened to the king the king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. Indeed. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Yeah. Prince Percival is incredible. That's very too. sus. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. Ooh, as long Artorius. as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on our tour. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's basically the, the, the takeaway from that. Got another exclamation point there. Before we go there, let's go over here. Let's go over here. And we've got... Something over here, I think. This is definitely there's definitely a side quest over here later. Something involving Magalu, I know that. Money, I will take the money. That's fine. All right. Exclamation point! It is then. Uh, this guy. Over here, this guy. This guy. Hello. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Do we? Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exercising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? And for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The High Priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. Consolidating so power, huh? Of the entire church. That's not all. The prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military <laughs> Jesus. That is a hell of a way to consolidate power. New theocracy to combat the demon blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation. No. That does not sound like a ray of hope. Okay, that sounds like fascism. <laughs> 
That sounds like multiple branches of government just being like, okay, now one person's in charge of everything. Real quick. Oh boy. That is that is how you get tanks rolling out in the streets. All right. We do have something over here. This is the inn. There is quite a bit to explore in this part of the city. I do remember that much. Where is our eventual goal? Do we see, even see where our eventual goal is? Find out what's happening in the capital. Okay, it's over that way. Well, we're not going to get to that tonight, but I am going to explore the inn, and we'll poke around here and uh, explore the rest of the city for the time being. Just stealing some wine off the shelves. Don't, don't mind me. Do not mind me. There's not even any rooms here. Oh, there's, there's a door. Okay, there's some doors. For a big city, capital city like this, you'd think the inn would be a little bit bigger and more involved. But no. But. No. Alright, we can't go this way yet. This way is blocked off. Very well. We shall not go that way then. We shall go this way. Eventually. No? We go this way. Okay, this way. This is the way we go. Alright. We do have something here at the fountain, which we'll I'll hold off on that for the time being. I'm gonna do a bit more exploring first. Finding all the important things to find. This is a place that's important. I don't remember what it is, but I remember this being important. That's like side quest center or something. This is where we have to go, so I don't want to do that yet. There's another alleyway where we can get up on the rooftops around here, I think. Or something. Yeah, there's a ladder. Okay. I knew I wasn't forgetting. I knew it. What's this? Calcite garment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hop on up here. See what's up on the roofs. The roof is a. We got these and a cat's treasure chest. Oh man, we do not have enough. All right, oh, that's it. That's all. That's all we can do. Hmm. For some reason, I thought that was better. That's okay. There's no other ladders anywhere? Nothing over here? Guess not. Alright, let's talk to whoever's over here by the fountain. Hello. Mommy, when's the prince gonna talk? The exorcists are coming too, right? I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about the Abbey. I want to see the exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and help them however we can. Yeah, I'll follow the rules, too. I won't be selfish. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. Oh, they don't know the truth, huh? The exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the exorcists. Uh-huh. Indeed. All right. Well, I guess we're going to advance the story with this cutscene. And then I think we'll end off after that. So let's go up here, and I'm pretty sure this is like... Yeah, this is like the cutscene. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. They sure do. Subjects, may I have your attention. It is I. Percival Asgard. Asgard, huh? Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It sure has. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man 
raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be you lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now and would be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand. Yeah, there he is. Artorius. From demons, he sacrificed everything. Oh, he sacrificed, did he? He called Lord Inominas, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! Well, shit. This isn't going as planned. He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. Yeah, who really made the sacrifice? The shepherd. And thus was created the shepherd. <laughs> Which is something very, very important in uh, Tales of Zestiria. Which is the sequel to this. Hey there, Artorius. the world was filled with suffering. I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean in Nomina, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. Well, there we go. He's going to end the demon blight for everybody. But you're the one who murdered. Fool will see us. You're the one who killed Lafayette. said. What? Oh. Oh, the blood. The red blood. The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't tell you that sooner. Oh, and here I was, <laughs> hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Yeah, isn't that what you signed up for, Lafayette? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. I'm sure you'll end up coming right back to us. <laughs> Your night's tormented. If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I'm sure he does. Don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Ifrid has close ties to a shadow guild. Ah, that's the, the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run by an old man called Baskerville. Serves as a front for them. That's that place. The shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist. That building that I went up to. 
That settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? All right. Well, we have our new destination and our expedition has returned. Let's see what we got. Take a look at this. Boom. Tuna and dried fish. We didn't do too well, but we got a new recipe. That's pretty cool. So let's keep on going. We still have to get uh, we still have to get an uh, area unlock. We can't go anywhere else until we until we have it. So. Made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. Sure is. All right, how do we get out of here? Because I would like to head back to the save point. And let's hit up this this uh, the skit. Sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Is he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? No, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah, yeah. indeed. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. <laughs> and I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. Yeah, join the party, man. Let's all take down Artorius. Alright, the first save point. Alright, so we do need to go... It's right over there. That's, that's our destination. We have another uh, exclamation point over there at the fountain. But first, we are going to hit up this save point, and we are going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching, whether you're watching live on Twitch right now, or when you're watching the VOD on Twitch, or when it gets ported over to YouTube. Just a reminder, all my streams, all my past streams, do get ported over to my YouTube channel. Um directly the day after they expire on uh, on Twitch. And you can find the link to the YouTube channel on my channel page here on Twitch. So, we're going to wrap things up for tonight. Uh, the next stream will be uh, next Monday, um, July 27th, Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and we'll go till about 9.30ish, uh, like we've been doing. So, next time we, uh, we are here in Logris. We have a little bit more exploring to do. And we have to uh, go see what this Shadow Guild is all about. So that's pretty cool. I, I vaguely remember it being involved with a lot of side quests. I think they like are kind of the side quest hub or something like that. Like they give you missions and stuff to do. Um, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Um, but I don't think that happens right away. I think there's going to be some story stuff with that Shadow Guild at first. And then we will uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you're excited for that. Um, also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at WhiskeyCactus, um, for updates about the stream. So, if for any reason the stream needs to be um, postponed, or canceled, or, or moved, or rescheduled, or anything like that, um, that's, where you'll that's where you'll find out about it. So, my expectation, again, is that uh, we should be fine with the 27th, 7 p.m. Eastern. So, that will be the next stream, um, and again, any changes to that will be posted on Twitter. So I hope you're excited for all that. I know I am. I will see you then. Good night.